question is uh, maybe you, you can introduce your background a little bit to our viewers. Aloha, ni hao. Wajiao ukashing. Hi, my name is Tiffany Ao. I'm running for office, I'm running for House of Representatives. A little bit about me, my family, they're actually immigrants from Vietnam, boat people, refugees, who came to America in 1980, and they created the American dream and opportunity for my sister and I. So far, I have been here, I've received a college education from Grinnell College, I went to Sacred Hearts Academy, and I just feel so privileged to be living the American dream that my family worked so hard to give for me today. Um, uh, so the next question is, uh, um, what, what are you doing now, and uh, what is your inspiration uh, to take on this big job of campaigning for office? I was working at the Capitol for Representative Corinne Ching, and when I was there, I saw what was going on at the Capitol, many bills that were going through that concerned me as a, as a citizen of Hawaii and a person that grew up here. As a young person that wants to continue living here and continue living that American dream, it has changed a lot for people of my generation than when my parents came to America. And for me, I feel that it is a responsibility and a privilege to be able to have the right to make a difference, to vote, to have exercise my freedom of speech. And currently in Hawaii, I feel that it is a 90% one party and we need checks and balances. And for me, instead of watching or waiting for somebody else to do something, I feel that I can try to make a difference. And I hope that this will help to inspire people of my generation to also step in and be part of the political process. Because for my family, coming to America from Vietnam and escaping communism, that was a very, very arduous endeavor. It was very, um, a lot of sacrifices that they made. And for me, I think that it, the least I can do, having had the privilege of being born in the greatest country where we can exercise our freedom of speech and really pursue the opportunities that come our way. The least I can do is to take the opportunity that came my way to run for office and to hopefully inspire other people. Um, are there particular issues that you wanted to um, help with or help address in the community? One of my issues is job creation. I believe that supporting local businesses, small businesses in Hawaii is a way to create more jobs because in that way we can keep taxes down, allow businesses to invest in their company by keeping taxes down and less over-regulation so that they can hire more people. Another one of my platforms is to promote and reform education in the sense of decentralizing how the public education system is currently so that each school in their district can have more of a say over how the money is spent and more accountability as to how our tax dollars are spent towards children and classroom learning. Also growing Chinese tourism, tourism is very very big right now and China has a growing economy. If we focused on that as a way to stimulate our economy um, instead of other bills that I've seen going through such as bringing in gambling um, to stimulate the economy that would be better as well as um, okay, take your time. Sorry. I had one more thing uh, tourism, education. Yes. currently in the district there is a live, work, and play community that Hawaii Community Development Authority wants to develop. And I want to parallel that with my vision of enjoy, thrive, and stay. Kaka'ako and the Kaka'ako and downtown community is an urban community of young families, professionals, and many different kind of demographics. Seniors, retirees, everyone wants to come and live in urban downtown. And one of my vision is to make this place a better quality of life for our residents through infrastructure improvements, road improvements, sewer improvements, as well as developing the Kaka'aka Waterfront Park and 
uh, Mother Waldron Park. Last question here.、Uh, talk about、uh, your community involvement overall, including the、uh, participation in the、um, competition for the,、uh, the Narcissus Queen. Currently, I am the Narcissus Queen, and it has been a wonderful experience for me and one of my inspirations for entering public service. When I won as Queen in January, I had the opportunity to read to children in different schools. As well as、uh, fundraise for the Red Cross, and we went to China. We went on a three-week tour, goodwill tour delegation throughout nine cities in China and Taiwan. Met with the delegates and dignitaries over there, and they are so excited to create a sister city relationship with us. For me, I feel that what a privilege to have a grassroots organization like the Chinese Chamber of Commerce build the 63-year tradition overseas. And these dignitaries, at high level, officials and ministers, would come and meet us and give aloha to us, and really want to establish that relationship. And in in that sense, as the Narcissus Queen, going to all these public functions and learning more about my heritage has made me realize the importance, as a young person of my generation, to be that bridge and gap as we're moving forward in the future. Okay, that's Thank it.、You. Thank you.